So I have gone back to the manor. I have tried to make some potions that didn't go too well. I've sold a bunch of things. I still have a couple of things I think I could sell. But more importantly, I want to talk to Kaga as well. I am... I don't know. Like she seemed to be hesitant when I asked her if she wanted to go on adventure. I find her now um, dressed. Well, she's not wearing that pretty dress anymore. So I think I should give her another chance. So, Kaga, I have gone to the chest over there and I picked up your armor that you were carrying. It's not in perfect condition, but maybe you'd like to put it on and go back to your adventures. Yes. All right. Well, I have some good news, Kaga, because as I was adventuring, so that's what you were wearing before. This you already had. I think that's it. But I found a pair of boots and a helmet of orcish manufacture that I think you might like. So the common shoes, not so much. Well, but no, no, come on. You, you're going to keep your orcish prices. There we go. That's better. Weapon-wise, that's what we want to do. See? Much better. And you know what? That's, that's a pretty cool outfit. Oh yes, when I went shopping I found these pauldrons. Uh, they are actually a little sturdier than the chitin pauldrons, so I bought them. We're happy with that. Um, how much of it, uh, this needs to be repaired. What can I give you? For now, I'm going to give you this. So this can be repaired. Equip the Orcish right bracer. Good. Okay, apart from the cuirass and the Dai Katana. Things are looking pretty good. I'm going to give you some stuff. That's the sort of things I should have left at home. I forgot. I forgot. Uh, I'm going to keep the hammers. It's a little heavy for me right now. But we'll be fine. Maybe... Maybe if I stuff things in my backpack, I'll be able to carry more. This I want to sell. I'm pretty sure that Kaga would like to wear it, but workish. Uh -huh. How much more? That's the stuff I wear when... Um, I'm going out adventuring. How heavy the scrolls can be. Not that heavy, huh? Some of the food. <sighs> Let's see. We put that back on. Ooh, almost. Amelie, you want to give me a hand? I think I've already given her everything that she might like. Oh, no, not that. I mean, she prefers 
to grab my crossbow, but I do not have a large quantity of bolts. I, I bought those I found. Um, the weaponsmith here, the, the Nord, actually had loads of them. They were pretty expensive, but well, I invested. I invested on the future. Here we go. All right, Kaga. Let's go. You and I, we're gonna repair your armor and uh, and set out. Ophelia, you'll be okay with the baby. You guess so. She's not very very hyped about it. I have things in there. Uh, I think it's the same things that I have here. So oh, that stays here. All right, ladies. Oof. Better. There is a table, an armorous table, just outside Meldor's, so I'll use this. There's even an overhang so I can work without getting soaked. Brilliant. that Kaga could train me. Like, if I wanted to improve my strength, Axe would be pretty good. Alright, Kaga, I think you will be very pleased with this. And this. Let's go back to the smith, the Nord smith I was talking about. All the time I was uh, tidying, you know, sorting my loot. Uh, Emily did not get her magicka back. Which is a bit of a bummer. Alright, things. I thought I gave that to Kaga, so what did I give her? Carved staff. Let's do that. Okay, girl, did I did I even give you your weapon? No. <laughs> I mean she's a warrior. I'm sure she could do some damage with a flint knife, but Yeah, I think you'll be better off with an actual weapon. Right, I'm not completely overburdened. Ah, uh, gauntlets, we don't want them. Would you take this? I mean, it's super pretty, but... <sighs> so, the bolts, do I get more? See, they're here. Let's get a few more. A pleasure. <laughs> I was gonna say, finally, a shopkeeper who's not rude. Well, I wonder. Maybe I prefer the rude shopkeeper after all. Okay. We're ready to go. Ladies, our mission is to go to Fort Buckmoth to collect information on the Six House Bays and then travel to Narmok and find said Six House Bays. Easy. 
Fastest way, ooh, no bad weather. Fastest way to Aldrin, Mage's Guild. Do I have um, I need to make sure I have at least a few ingredients for Guarana so that I may feed her. So do I, but I'm on a mission. We'll, we'll chat later, I promise. Okay. Well, the first part of the mission is easy. Honestly, going to Port Burkmart, we've been there a couple of times. Worried a few, actually, to do those um, Imperial Cult quests. If we travel around Nizis, um, we could try to find the Boots of the Apostle. For the time being, not a priority. There it is, right here. And look at that! Hello, buddy. Hello. You're still doing okay? You still have food? Um, I hope you do because I don't have any more right now. Let's see. Enjoy, buddy. See, Guarana? You've already become much bigger than Guargantuan. I have an excellent oh you're gonna be so pleased Kaga we will be able to and Amelie I don't think I can improve but maybe yeah we can uh, sharpen this one oh I need to equip it fair enough fair enough fair enough The weapon must be fully repaired. Can do. Oof. It takes quite a lot of damage if you don't manage to sharpen it. It's okay, we have time. But when we're done here, the battle axe will be sharpened, and I think I should be able to sharpen the Duemer Dai Katana as well. You know what? Let's grab that now. Okay, now you need to hold the weapon. Hold this one, okay? I mean, it's not surprising. Yes, Daikatana improved. Come on, Axe. And it's a bit improved. 
Who knew an axe would be much harder to sharpen than the die katana? Maybe it's because there's a the jewel, the two sides of the blade. I don't know. Come on. based on um, like the more valuable the weapon the harder it is to sharpen you know you need to be more careful it could be that could be the reason but Kaga you will be delighted with this one enjoy And while I'm here, I suppose I should also... Ah, oh, where did I do... Where did I put my... Do I have a short blade? Oh. I must have put it down when I was, you know, moving the ingredients, the potions and everything. I hope I haven't sold it by mistake. Failed. I mean, it is true that I find my fists are just as good as a blade, but... And I had applied poison on this one. Well, Amelie, I'm gonna try a couple more times, but it looks like I'm just not good at sharpening your axe. No, it's just not happening. It is true that my armor skill is, uh, well, nothing to sing about. I'll try later on, maybe. I think I need to accept that it's just not happening right now. rather not take her all the way to the sixth house, the Dwemer, sorry, the sixth house base. Oh, you're too, you've become too big. That's okay, you can stay here. I'll see you in a bit, Guarana. All right, we need to find the commander of this fort. I believe she is downstairs. Was that her? Aldredania is the site of an ancient ruined wizard's tower on the western tip of a large island west of Sheagorad. Yeah, but this is not where I want to go. La Ode is a tiny fishing village on western Vardenfell in the Bitter Coast region. Hmm. Let me see my notes. Um, talk to Raessa Puglia. Sorry, very, very wrong. Actually, everybody, come close. Where there we go. Dill? What can I do for you? So you can have your attributes restored. Hello, Julian. You do know a lot of spells, but... Probably nothing for me. Do I want to decipher something? Well, let me see. I gave their scrolls to Kaga. 
I did not. I gave the scrolls to Emily. I did not. I gave the scrolls to myself. Let's see if some of those could be useful as a spell. Um, dispel, not so much. Cure common disease, I already know that. Charm, I don't need it. Divine intervention, I'm done. Huh, soul trap. Let's do that. The odds of soul trapping. Gosh, too many spells. Here it is. <clears throat> the odds of soul trapping are actually pretty good. Then I really ought to try and uh, remember I have tons of soul gems that I have given to. <laughs> I think it's Kaga, but yep. So, Raisa. Would that be her? No. Yes. If I can be of any assistance, I'll be happy to help. I'm Raisa Pulia, champion of the Legion Garrison here at Buckmoth Legion Fort, and you're them. Caius Kosady sent you, didn't he? Kaya says you're the one to handle this sixth house base near Narmok. Yes, what do you know about Only it? Only one trooper returned. He died soon after, horribly disfigured with corpus disease and out of his wits. In his ravings, he spoke of a cavern on the coast. He called it Ilunabi. It's not on our maps. Try asking locals in Narmok. They fought with cultists and disfigured man beasts, corpus monsters, I think. They fled the attackers and got lost in the caves. Then they ran into a half-man creature named Dagoth Garrus. This Dagoth Garrus slew the rest of the patrol, but spared the one trooper. He told the trooper he was being spared, so he might tell others that the sleeper awakes, and the sixth house has risen, and Dagoth Ur is lord, and I am his priest, and all will be one with him in the flesh. The trooper awakened outside the caves and returned here. We couldn't recognize him, and he didn't respond to questions. Just kept rambling on like a madman until he died. Um, that corpus disease certainly sounds terrible. I've heard of corpus disease before, but never seen it. The trooper's flesh was swollen and covered with growths. His bones twisted and lost their shape. He spoke to himself, as if in a dream. We didn't recognize him at first, except for his clothing and armor. The fort chaplain tried spells and potions, but couldn't cure the disease. He died soon after he reached the fort. Didn't realize how fast Corpus kills. It sure wasn't pretty. The troops seemed shaken. I'm a little worried myself, to tell the truth. Mm. Narmok is an island fishing village on the bitter coast, roughly west of Caldera, and follow the coast, wading around headlands when necessary. Pass a shipwreck. When the coast levels out and turns from barren rock to green swamp, you're in the bitter coast region. That's what the dead trooper called the sea caverns where he found the sixth house base. It's not on our maps, and no one here has heard of it. Maybe the locals in Narmok can tell you where to find it. Okay, thank you for the information. Uh, we oh, have. Please don't mention it. I'm always happy to help someone like you. Yeah, no. I did potions when I was in Balmora. I went to Nalcaria. To buy healing potions, but shockingly, there was very little. So it's just cheap potions. Just stupid. Like, I, I sold the cheap potions. I was hoping to buy better quality potions.
Oh, you have all kinds of things. Hang on. I had a few things I should have sold and didn't. That might be it, though. Very pretty. That's heavy armor. Heavy armor as well. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, no, no. I was thinking Kaga might like it, but Kaga is wearing orcish. Or something else if she if she finds better. Hmm, I would have gone with the with the queer ass that she's got. Never mind. I'll buy the picture. What hang on? Can I be of service? I guess, um, I guess this is it. Okay, we've been to Narmok before, but we, we've been to Narmok from Caldera. So I think what I need to do is travel southwest until I well recognize the landscape that is the idea also I currently have no weapons I mean I can do this to get the attention of a, a creature like so I hear. What do you say, Kaga? You're impressed? Oh, I don't even have a, a proper knife. Let me let me talk to the smith. I need to find a weapon. Like I I do feel that my fists do quite a bit of damage however i need to be really close to the enemy uh, which makes it a little hard just getting close to the enemy is um enough for me to get killed you said the nine to you greetings perfect all right do you have like a really really good short blade a blazing imperial wakizashi it's better than nothing i guess it's better than nothing i'll take it thank you Ooh, what what do i have nothing no not nothing that is untrue I do have gloves. They're not armored, but personality and luck. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think these gloves would make a huge difference. So I'll just take the blade. Thank you. Oh, hang on. That's the pauldron that I got for Amelie. Maybe she would like the whole set. What do you say, Emily? Indeed you do, better than the enhanced chitin. And apparently she did not even have a cuirass. I kind of like, I would like to see what the armor looks like, but she's wearing the archmage's robes and um, I guess it's good for her. So we'll leave it like that, but better armor is good. And I don't need this. This is mine. Okay. 
The weapon is clearly not as good as the one I had, I don't think. But it's better than nothing. And it should be fairly easy to sharpen. Do you think there's an enchanter here? I don't believe I've seen her with such a grand outfit in some time. Yes, you can enchant. You? you enchant things, but you don't sell enchanted items. You cannot help me, but thank you. So much for it being easy to repair. Crap. Maybe I just really got lucky with the Dai Katana. Yes. It is now sharpened. Better than nothing. Alright, ladies, adventure. awaits. I am still on a mission to make up for all the gemstones that Emily took with her and I've been thinking about that. I, I trusted her and I am not sure that I should. Oof. You, what are you? You're trying to get the cliff racer, right? I can help just a little bit with this. Okay. You killed the bird. I go in this direction roughly. That should put us on the path to Narmok. Quite a few cliff races around here. Hopefully I can either avoid them or surprise them. Survival going up. I never thought when I first arrived in Vardenfell that my survival would, you know, even be a thing. As in my ability to survive in the wilderness. We have another cliff racer. A bear. I should stop picking up ingredients would be quite happy to find a road. This cliff racer looks unhealthy. I'm guessing blighted. Probably blighted. So long as I'm in the wilderness, I don't think I'm going to recognize the path at all. A road, please, give me a road. 
Here we go. Oh. Uh, and they can know it. Aldrin, Caldera, Balmora, La Huat, Namok, here we go. Uh, we'll travel cautiously. Doesn't mean we'll be completely safe. Okay, this is Namok. Greetings. Do you know a cave named Ilunibi? Ilunibi Caverns. Mm -hmm. That's what they call the old sea cave up on the north end of the island, right on Cartag Point. Don't poke around in there. It's a convenient smuggler's hole and they might not welcome visitors. What about Cartag Point? Yes, that's on the western coast, not far from here. It's a gigantic boulder. Some of the orcs consider it a landmark. Why? I don't know. Some orc or another jumped on the <laughs> Okay, thank you for the information. And it looks like... Is that Kartag Point on my map? Yes, it is. Okay. So we're looking for a cave on an island between here and Kartag Point. There's an island here. With a few planks conveniently placed. A land drag waiting for a prey. You see, Karga, she's missed combat. Wow. Karga, I've also missed you. Here we go. Carcass of the Saint. It really doesn't sound like a smuggler's place. Whoa. The sixth, the house. sixth house greets you, Lord Nerevar, or whatever name you now call yourself. I am known as Dagoth Garish, priest of Ilunaivi Shrine and minister to sixth house servants. My lord Dagoth Ur has informed me of your coming. I wish that. This time you had come to honor your lord's friendship, not to betray it. Ah, creepy much. I'm gonna sneak. <laughs> oh, no. oh, wow. Is that, that's, that's a path. That looks like a path. Oh my gosh. I got the feeling that my little amulet of levitation is going to be very useful. Okay. <laughs> wow. Gaga, I'm so glad I insisted because you are clearly clearly extremely eager uh-huh somebody made it this far Those red candles look a little... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Kaga went first. I'll help. You okay? 
you know what I should have done. Oh, maybe this is better. You know what? It's all right that I couldn't sharpen the axe for Emily. I really, really prefer her to stay behind. No, why would I touch uh, those creatures? Dead adventurer. I like the probes. Everything else feels heavy and not necessary. We have red candles over there as well. Which way do I go? All right, let's explore this tunnel first. I can see that there's a lot less in the way of plants around here. To Morahog Spine. Right. Before we explore a second cave or tunnel, I'm not sure. Let's explore as much as we can here. But wonder it is uh and what who where are you going your whoa oh wow 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 ouch that hurts what can I do what can I do what can I do levitate um but first we need to heal oh then we need to disappear that's what we need to do you know how I think I'm going to follow Kaga that's that's the only idea I have. Oof. Grab, grab a thing. Whew. The water saved me. I was really hoping to get hold of a rock or something, but that did not happen. Well, I did mention the Amulet of Levitation. And it looks like I'm gonna need it sooner rather than later. Hang on, what is this? The Tainted Marrow. Well, I guess we are exploring the Tainted Marrow first. Or I levitate my way up so I can explore. You know what, let's go. Let's go Tainted Marrow. Well, Caius Cosatus did warn me. This, this is no joke. Let's see what you have in store for me. Hello, Nibi Shrine is just a small, quiet retreat for Sixth House servants. A place to contemplate and grow strong and wise in Lord Dagon's ways. Here we share the sacraments of flesh and blood and dream the dreams of our Lord. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to dream the dreams of your lord. I don't know. Also... Wow, Kaga. You're so eager. That's good, I guess. There's another one there. This one doesn't seem to be casting spells, maybe. Oh, you don't look good. You don't look good. Okay, Kaga, finish him up. There's more. Oh. Right behind you. What are you fighting? What are 
are you fighting? This guy, this guy's dead, right? Gone. Let's dispose of the corpse. Were you very confused? Very, very confused. I mean, this place is pretty maddening. Kaga, you, you're not going mad, are you? I need you to not be mad. I am not <laughs> feeling this place at all. Well done, Gaga. Goodness, this place is huge. Marowak Spine, that is where we would have gone uh, if I had gone through the door, the first door. But there's so much more to this place, I think. It's also supremely creepy that Dagos Gareth talks to me like, can he see me? He did say that he was expecting me, but... This place just keeps on giving woo 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 woo. These guys are pretty blind, honestly. Oh, oh crap! I didn't mean to be. <laughs> Thank you, Kaga. I was saying that because they don't detect me sneaking, and I'm not a particularly good sneak. But. They actually have no eyes. I didn't mean to be cruel. Hello, dead adventurer. What do we have? A sacred necromancer cuirass. This is light armor. Amalie might like it. Order of Inquisition hood and mask. Ooh. Very good if you want to be incognito. Uh, Dwemer shield. It's not bad stuff. But if my companions have no need for it, then neither do I. Yes, we are in a six house base. It looks nasty, right? You can still shoot straight. Okay, that's very, very reassuring. Would you would you want to wear this? You actually do prefer it to the Shadow Fox queries. Do you, you want the, the hooded mask? You want the hooded mask. You know what? Whatever helps you. Yeah, it looks a bit weird. But that will do. Let's proceed. Oh, okay. I've come full circle. All right. Then it would seem that the only way is uh, through that door that I saw. Emily, you know there are seven septims apiece? So 
So if you could really actually shoot straight, straight, and I would greatly appreciate it. The Slapers and Dreamers are newly come to Lord Dagoth and are not yet blessed with his power. But we, children of his flesh, we are deep in the heart of his mysteries. Our bodies swell to contain his glory and to yield the rich sacraments of our Lord's feasts. Yep, creepy. You don't say the guy without eyes didn't get any blessings. He just lost his eyes, as far as I can tell. Uh, what are you? To blackened heart. Same thing, we'll keep exploring. See if there are multiple options, unless we fall down a crevice. And we have no choice. Crap, I have contracted wither. Odds are this is actually a blight disease. No, it was a common disease, so my little amulet was able to cure it. Okay, pretty good. Kaga, your blade is covered in blood. How does that feel? Pretty good, huh? I can hardly breathe. I am so focused trying to discern if there's anyone or anything ahead that I forget to breathe. That's... that's not fun. I've picked the narrow passage. Okay, hello. Whoa. Yeah, if I had taken the, the larger passage, I would be down there. Is that... I saw movement. Or oh, maybe... Maybe it's my imagination. Something, something has seen me. However, neither of my companions have seen something. What are you? <gasps> you look nasty. A dreamer. Oh. Okay, I didn't help on this one, but... Uh... Clad in six house quirus. You know what? Normally, normally I sort of pick up whatever gear I find and offer it to my companions. I think I'll make an exception this time. And did I? Did I see? Yeah, there's somebody over there. Someone with a torch. In armor, though. Doesn't look like a, a cultist. Oh crap. There's more more tunnels everywhere. Please be a dead end. Without monsters. Yay. I am checking four traps on everything. I do not trust this place. One bit. Mm. 
Oh. Yeah. Yep. Uh, let's not. Let's just not. Okay. Uh -huh. Some of the weapons and armor here. But again, not interested in any of it. <sighs> I wonder what creature that was. We know in Aldrin, um, it was a, a giant crab. What was that? You got it, Kaga? Thank you. I wish there was a way to protect myself. I'll take that, though. A trauma with longbow that nearly destroyed. Yeah, that looks like a, a legionnaire, right? Let's see if we can reach them. This place is so huge. And it's so huge that I feel I cannot go further. We'll have to take a break and continue later on. <laughs> 